Good morning guys, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas USA, live and in color. This is off-grid, Rusty. I, I am totally unhooked from whatever they got to hook up to. No water, no electric. All this power is being brought to you by the sun, <clears throat> which is great. Anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. What's large, gray, and doesn't matter? An irrelevant. Irrelevant. I like that. That's not too bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 29. Hey Google, good morning. Good morning, Rusty. It is 6.30 a.m. Currently in 78611, it's 58 and cloudy. Today, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a forecasted <clears throat> high of 77 and a low of 64. Have a wonderful day. You too. I couldn't sleep last night. I mean, well, I slept good, but I mean, I was, I got up, I woke up about five, you know, and I just couldn't go back to sleep, so I got up. Anyway, and the reason is I got all this stuff that I'm trying out. You know, I, I was curious about my lead acid battery on my RV. I wanted to check it and see what, what it was doing. And then I was thinking about the battery, the AGM battery inside that's running my Dometic CF-18 refrigerator. <clears throat> and anyway, I got up this morning and I checked them both. And uh, the AGM is 80% and the lead acid is 90%. So that's... Uh, <clears throat> good very good but that's only after because I didn't put hook them both up till about 11 a.m. yesterday morning so it's not quite a full 24-hour cycle but anyway Mike Butterfield says ever consider a roommate no I already answered that one no uh, Mike Galloway the the lightning looked really good oh the lighting looked really good thank you no problem at all probably more natural light the time of day you shot the video yeah it was you had a little outside light yesterday but today you're going to get dark and I, I don't know what it's going to look like but uh, it's the way it is i got three light led lights on apparently they use virtually nothing and the 12 volt pump must not use much because uh, the lead acid battery is full <clears throat> or nearly 90 <clears throat> percent cajun Jameis, uh, this is on rving cost very good info thank you rusty what type of discounts do you use none I don't have any. I don't use Good Sam. I don't use any of them. I don't go to RV parks. That's one reason. <clears throat> Inspirational Nomad. Uh, good insights for people who travel alone. Oh, that was uh, traveling or camping alone. Uh, good insights for people who travel alone and how to deal with panhandlers and safety tips. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, there's a few things that, you know, that I've picked up over the years that seem to help. You know, if a panhandler comes up to you and asks you, to loan him some money or something just say no and then shut up <clears throat> don't don't start talking because that's what they want you they want to get you talking and if you don't talk they got a problem they're gonna to have to either make their move or get the hell out of dodge <clears throat> mike butterfield rving uh, costs uh, let us know when you reappear major rusty ground control out <laughs> i was flying wasn't i uh, the boondocking the sovereign of America that's the individual's name great can't wait to see your adventures and the issues that come into play on your journey learning a lot thank you rusty happy safe travels thank you well I'm not really going traveling yet I'm just off grid I'm just because uh, you know I'm testing everything because you know you gotta do your morning routine you know you gotta I gotta get water I mean I'm gonna actually do just like I'm boondocking and do it here and then i'm going to go over to uh the georgetown uh, texas corps of engineers for a couple of days and continue and then you know uh, i may start drifting around texas i don't know what i'm going to do and that's the fun part of life for me i mean just i don't know what i'm going to do until i do it uh roger martin costs of rv don't forget the most important cost of all the cost of beer for beer 30 yeah that's a fact see that was something i had to adjust this morning because i put those little <clears throat> blue ice packs in my refrigerator uh, thinking it might keep it cool it, it, well they weren't frozen when I put them in there they were about 35 degrees and uh, but they it helped the refrigerator this morning was about 60 and so what I thought I'd do I just took 
everything out of the fridge and, and, and went ahead and finished putting stuff in my Dometic. <clears throat> and then I took the beer and just put it in a in a little uh, lunchbox, Igloo lunchbox thing and put a couple, couple of those uh, blue ice packs in there. And I've got four, so I'll just rotate two in and out during the day. I hope that works. It'll work. I'll make it work. And what else? Uh, Roger Martin. Oh, yeah, Beer 30. Thank you. DJ's Travels. You should have also mentioned having a reserve fund for breakdowns. <laughs> a reserve fund? What the hell is that? <laughs> and then Dare Dare says 5000 at least. <laughs> My reserve fund is 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 it ain't much <laughs> yeah i gotta have a big reserve fund never mind yeah well you probably that's probably a good idea if you have any money <clears throat> yeah i got a big reserve fund rondland 100 are being cost great info rusty i read somewhere about the traveling rule of threes drive no longer than three hours a day no further than 300 miles you know you can't go 300 miles in three hours unless you're going 100 miles an hour <laughs> ronley you get around don't you babe and it'd be at your destination by 3 p.m yeah i, I go with that yeah i i, I try to keep my de my trips to <clears throat> 200 miles <clears throat> a day and then arrive at uh, wherever i'm going to camp the night, night at 2 p.m yeah that's a great idea thank you <clears throat> Ramblin' Burkeen on RV Coffs. Rusty, seems to me you have a nice private piece of property. Why go camping at all? It's a busy, crowded world out there. Yeah, I know it is. And uh, it is sometimes a little frustrating. And I ask myself that same question when I'm out there and I'm wondering why I can't find any place to park. And why don't I just go back home and hang out? Well, you know, uh, you know, like Banji Lee almost got it right. Variety is the spice of life. I, I just like to do things. That's all. I mean, I'm 72 years old. And I'm running out of things to. I'm I'm running out of doers. <clears throat> Not scotch, but uh, do or doing things. Uh, growing up on a farm. This is a, well, I did a little series on that. Melly Talis Risner. Melly Talis Risner. Well, she's got two names twice. Love your story. Miss my family so much. Uh, RV cost Mike Brandenburg Brandenburg yeah. are you going to boondock in any Walmarts or other parking areas no not if, if, I, if I have to I will I've done it before but I only do it when I'm what I call caught out in other words I had a backup campsite and went to it and it wasn't it was bad too yeah I actually had I was in Colorado one time <clears throat> and I had three campsites lined up and I went to the first one, boom, zero. Went to the second one, boom, zero. Went to the third one, and there were so many mosquitoes, they could, never mind, it was horrible. So I found a town with a little Walmart and headed there and stayed the night. But anyway, boondock, that's what happens. And that, that's a little frustrating because, you, you know, you're prepared to go park, and you get there, and you can't, or you don't want to because you realize that it's not your cup of tea. Anyway, but it, that's it, guys. That's part of it. Boondocking, Mr. Safety Forever. Great idea to test equipment to ensure its functionality. Take care. Yeah, you, you got to know. You know, you, you, setting this. See, I've got a, <clears throat> I've got an, a 300 watt inverter that I've got my Google Home plugged into. I've got my phone charger. Actually, I could charge my phone over there in the USB port, but I'm using this over here for some reason. And then I've got my TV plugged in. I put my TV back. I got. It, I put it back out because uh, it's just much more convenient watching uh, stuff on you know movies on TV than it is on the laptop. I don't know why. I, and besides that, I've got my uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? The Roku device plugged into the TV. And here's something you didn't know, and I I may I may do may do a video about it for other people, is. Uh, that little Roku device uses a lot of power. Uh, anyway, M Mike Brandenburg, uh, he says he likes to eat out a lot while he's traveling. Uh, good. Uh, you, Mike Brandenburg, again, you would need a lot a lot less electric if you had a gas fridge. Uh, they run a long time on a little propane. <clears throat> yeah, but they're a little pricey. And, and I'm fine, man. The Dometic CF-18 is all I need. If I, if I need any more than that, then I better stay at home. <clears throat> Mike Brandenburg, do you 
have any auto service like AAA. Uh, I have a thing through GEICO, roadside assistance. That's it. Uh, new RV hose, hot limited, says cut them bees. Okay. Mike Ellis, boondocking. I, I still think you should try to run your 120 volt refrigerator off the solar. You never know if you don't try it. <clears throat> well, you're right. I, I, it appears I might be able to, but I don't want to. I, I've got plenty of refrigerator in the Dometic CF-18. I just have to be a little more organized, and uh, I'm, do, I'm doing it. So I've got plenty. I, I, it's just me. It's just one person. I don't need a lot of refrigerator space. <clears throat> Melly Talis Risner, something about selling your home. Uh, love to hear your videos. Thank you, Melly. Uh, Jack and Dad Gamer. Subway Pizza, we demand Subway Pizzas to return. <laughs> Boondocking doodah. Rusty the Boondocker, exciting. I'll check back tomorrow to see how you're doing. Well, right now, so far, it's okay, but today's going to be a little cloudy, so we'll have to see how the solar goes. Uh, Sarah J, RVing costs, great video and info. Quite a few of the Pull RVs are marked down to almost cost at Parkway RV Center. Uh, so a current good use cost with Rusty's info. Yeah, there he, she's got a link to something there. <clears throat> so check it out. And then she says it's uh, plenty of light in the video. I'm glad. Cool, you're saving money. I, I, actually, pennies. Uh, Janice Peck, uh, RVing cost. Excellent advice, Rusty. Thank you. you thank you. Uh, Ross Unknown, he says, uh, golf. <clears throat> I hear you. I like golf. Uh, Craig W. Hunt, RVing cost, money. I thought USA is a free country. Very funny. Anyway, good stuff. We are doing Palm Springs and Admiral Baker in San Diego. The last is a military resort. My wife was Navy. Costco regular today. Gulp. Three dollars and fifteen cents and three dollars and forty cents for super. Yeah, you guys in California get it. <clears throat> Scotty's got four here. Let's see what we got, Scotty. Scotty Thompson, cool comment call, Rusty. I like your YouTube video, Rusty. Very fun to watch. Cool boondocking setup and ready to go talk, Rusty. Cool RVing cost to travel in an RV talk, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Four times. Sherry from Texas, a good dry run. You're right, that's what it is. A full-fledged test. <clears throat> Here is Der Trixa from Germany. Hey, Rusty, what a crazy world. In Texas, the sun is shining, and here in Germany near Hamburg, we have 20 degrees Fahrenheit, snow, and ice-cold wind. Nevertheless, greetings from Germany. Well, greetings from te Central Texas, USA, Der Trixa. Uh, this is Happy Heart. Shorns, RV cost, good advice, thanks. Joyce Jason, RVing cost, and he says, and Germany has done it. A completely solar-powered RV, no fuel needed. Ha, and I knew it was coming, it's just a matter of time. <clears throat> He's got a link to greenmatters.com, so check it out. It's on the video, RVing costs. So, yeah, that, and that's all the comments we got. <clears throat> Thank goodness, because I got things to do and people to see today. I got a few things I need to do. I need to get me some of those little washcloths because I'm not going to use the shower except when I wash my hair, which will only be probably once or twice a week. But anyway, hey, Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. Why was the student's report card wet? It was below sea level. Below sea level all right very good well anyway guys from central texas usa this is rusty boondocking dry camping uh off grid 78609 <laughs> anyway from central texas usa guys uh we're we're off grid guys we are totally off grid not bad anyway thumbs up carpe diem adios bye 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 anything you want but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of my videos why because i get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny so if you're going to buy something from amazon anyway think about using the link i appreciate it and what else drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day will not hurt you it's good for you it will help you avoid gout kidney stones and it will also help you lose weight 
Why? Because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat. And what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Then stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, walk. Why? Because that's good for you too. And uh, that'll keep you healthy. And what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind because what you let in are ingredients. Just remember that. And you don't you want to let in all good stuff. So don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. If the talking heads on TV are getting in your head, zap those dudes. If the newspaper's got a headline, all the headlines on the newspaper are always going to be negative. The reason is when a newspaper folds to go into a newspaper rack or is folded to lay in a stack, they have to have something that catches your eye, right? Does good news catch your eye? Never. <clears throat> Never. If it bleeds, it leads. But anyway, having said that, guys, stand guard at the door of your mind. Enjoy your life one day at a time. And we're going to see where this trail leads. We have started a new chapter, or I've start, we've started a new chapter. And let's just see where it goes. We're going to be in this area for a while. And then where are we going to go? don't know. Anyway, guys, thumbs up. Enjoy your life. Bye-bye.